if you're having problems with your printer, like you have your printer plugged into your computer and it's just not showing up on your list of printers when you go to print your documents. So like this list here, it's not showing up there or the computer is not recognizing it and it's showing up on your list of plugged in devices as an unspecified device like here. My printer is the HP LaserJet 1018 and I have it plugged in via USB, but you see it's showing up on this list as an unspecified computer. I tried all the stuff I could read up on on the internet and none of it worked. So I tried something else and maybe this might work for you as well. So I'm just gonna run you through what I did. So what I'm gonna have you do is go to um, right here on the Windows Start button and just type in Control Panel. And what you wanna do is you wanna open your Control Panel and right here you want to click on the option that says devices and printers so find devices and printers and click on that and right here at the top you see there's a list and your printer shows as an unspecified device just ignore that for now just click on the top this option that says add a printer all right so this pops up and what you want to do is click the option at the bottom here that says the printer that i want isn't listed right once you click that click the last option here which says add a local printer or network printer with manual settings so click on that and then click the next button right and then you see this option that says use an existing port click on this drop down menu list and if you have it plugged in via USB so look for the option that says USB for me the option that says USB is the one here at the bottom you can see USB uh, zero zero one so I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna click next and then here I have a list of that pops up right so to install the printer driver so I have a list of manufacturers and once I click on the manufacturer I get a list of drivers or certificates that I need to install so before you before you do that what you should do is click this button that says Windows update and basically what it does is it's going to check and update your list of manufacturers and your list of, of drivers and certificates for the different manufacturers. So once you have clicked the Windows update, this takes a while. So just have a bit patience. Once the update is done, just look for the name of the manufacturer of your printer. So for me, it's going to be HP. So I click on HP and then I look, I click on HP here on the left and then I look to the right for the exact name of my printer and mine is the HP LaserJet 1018 so then I select that and then I click next but before that I'm gonna go back one step if your if your printer doesn't show up on the list so for example you you have the let's say for example your printer is the 1019 and here it's only a 1018 and a 1020 then just select 1020 and click next okay and then it's going to ask you which version of the drivers you want to use. So just click use the driver that is currently installed and click and click next. All right. So right here. So if your printer is the 1019, not the 1020, you can just change the name here. So for example, I, I, I had selected 1020 in the previous, in the previous list, but my printer is the 1018. So I'm just going to change this 20 to an 18, right? And then I'm going to click next then it's gonna say installing drivers and then it's gonna ask me about sharing I do not want to share this printer on the network so I'm just gonna leave it as it is do not share this printer and click next and your printer has been successfully added laserjet 18 so now I'm gonna print a test page just to see if it works and if you can hear it in the background it my printer just started up and it's printing so now I'm going to click close and click finish. So now you saw automatically on this list, my printer just showed up HP LaserJet 1018. So it shows up here and it's marked as green. However, it still also shows up as an unspecified device. Just ignore that it's going to work. So let's go now to Microsoft Word and check our list of printers if it's available and you'll see it's automatically found it HP LaserJet 1018 ready. So yeah, that's exactly what I did. 
um, maybe this works for you maybe not let me know if it works let me know if it doesn't and drop some comments if you found some other methods of dealing with this problem thanks i appreciate it like subscribe if you want don't it's cool have fun bye